Tonight, growing outrage over a life saving drug jumping 4,000% overnight. The clock moving very slowly as they await a verdict. Time Warner Cable says the company required by the FCC to make the EAS bulletins available. And Wayne, this is something you've been dealing with for a long time. They actually came to my house as well, and something that was kind of startling. They knew some of my neighbors' names, were asking mm -hmm. a lot of questions. So I'm, I'm glad you looked into this. Most social media sites have age restrictions, but there's really nothing stopping a news reporter or 46 year old man from lying about who they are. This was Donald Trump's first ever rally in Kentucky. It wrapped up about an hour ago, and as you can see, it quickly cleared out. All that's left is garbage. They're taking the stage down, sound system coming down as well. They truly feel they avoided a tragedy today that they were able to detonate this pipe bomb on their own terms. Again, this right here, you can see the burn marks inside the McDonald's parking lot. If you're heading through town, this is mostly what you're going to see closed signs. All the banks have been closed. The Davis County Courthouse uh, closed at noon today, but I did find one business that was open uh, right over there with that green awning there. That is Colby's. Tension still very high in Ferguson, Missouri. This is what's considered ground zero where the shooting took place and this convenience store was burned by looters on Sunday. She does worry that some may fear that they need to go hide, that they need to hide their problem and not get help and fix this. You've been working pretty closely with the Marion facility for several years now. How did this go by unnoticed? The lights outside the Lashbrook family home are so bright you can see them from the main road all the way in highway 54 and since i pulled into the neighborhood today there's been just a steady stream of cars families wanting to see the lights for themselves some even getting out of the car and taking family pictures four production companies have filmed at wabash valley in the last year all of their stories centered around the man who now lives here